It is difficult to remember different cells of immune system, right? Here is an easy way to remember the cells of the immune system through mnemonics. Let us try with a simple sentence. Remember this photo for easy understanding. The sentence is Nakul eats burger meal on Mondays from McDonald's, buying through online. Here, N stands for neutrophils. E stands for eosinophils. B stands for basophils. M stands for mast cells. Here, there are two M's. To avoid confusion, the second M has an O adjacent to that, which represents monocytes. Also, here we can consider O as budding, that is daughter cell, which has been followed by M and D. It is to represent macrophage and dendritic cell respectively. Basically, a monocyte differentiates into a macrophage and a dendritic cell to elicit an immune response. These cells are considered the cells of the innate immune system. In contrast, the cells of the adaptive immune system consist of B, that stands for a B cell, T, that stands for a T cell, and N, that stands for natural killer cell. Cool, right? Now, let us try to remember some important characteristics and functions of these cells through a picture and a sentence. Remember this picture. And the sentence is. Four MBBS nucleus graduates see two potatoes on Alpine Phase 2 bridge in anti-cell campus. Here, red color letters act as abbreviations, and green color letters act as connecting letters. Let us see how it works. Some immune cells are called polymorphonuclear lymphocytes, due to their lobe nucleus. So here, MBBS nucleus represents the number of lobes in the nucleus. And four means, the first four immune cells. Accordingly, Neutrophils have multi-lobed nucleus. Eosinophils have bilobed nucleus. Basophils have bi or trilobed nucleus. And, mast cells have a single-lobed nucleus. Another characteristic is, these four cells are also called granulocytes, which is represented by the term graduates for easy remembrance. These granulocytes have specific granules containing enzymes and antimicrobial agents that are released during infections, allergic reactions, and asthma. Now let us see what is the meaning of eat two potatoes. Here, eating means phagocytosis, and two potatoes means, the first two cells, that is neutrophils and eosinophils are phagocytic in nature. Coming to N, it represents the non-phagocytic nature of basophils. And ALP indicates that, mast cells are active against many allergic tissues and parasites. The remaining two cells of the immune system, that is macrophages and dendritic cells are also phagocytic in nature, which is represented by phase 2. The term bridge indicates that, the dendritic cell act as a bridge between innate and adaptive immune systems. This is all about the cells of innate immunity. Coming to the cells of adaptive immunity that is B-cell, T-cell and natural killer cell. The main function of these cells is indicated by the last two words, that is, anti-cell campus. The word anti, indicates that, the B-cell is involved in antibody-mediated immune response. Similarly, the word cell, indicates that, the T-cell is involved in cell-mediated immune response. Finally, the word campus indicates the apoptosis function of natural killer cells. Was that useful? If so, please let us know through the comments. For detailed information on the cells of the immune system, please visit the link given in the description box. Thank you.